What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Just a super quick one today. I'm going to show you how to remove your cookies and other site data. So with that being said, let's head on over to the computer and get going. Okay, so before we get started, we are gonna go through each one of the main three browsers. So we're gonna start with Chrome, go to Firefox, and then Microsoft Edge. But just know that when you go through and you clear your cookies and your browsing data, um, or your other site data, there is a chance that it's going to remove the cookie um, if you're logged into different websites, like maybe your email or other different websites that automatically logs you in, there is potential that you're gonna have to re-log into those. If you have your password saved, that's fine. It usually will fill in the password for you, but just know that you're gonna have to go in and sign into those accounts again. So we're gonna start off with Google Chrome up in the top right-hand corner, gonna click the three little dots that are stacked on top of each other. Come on down and left click on settings. Over here on the left hand side, click on privacy and security. And then we're actually gonna choose the clear browsing data because this gives us a few check boxes and some time ranges that we can play with. So we'll click on that. And you can see that we can change the time range from all of time all the way down to the last hour. And then you can go in and you can also check the boxes of browse if you wanna clear your browsing history, your cached images and files, things like that, all of these you can individually select. So we're just gonna leave the cookies and other site data uh, checked, and then we're gonna left click on clear data. And that's it, you've cleared everything out of Google Chrome. Now Firefox is pretty much the same thing with some slight differences. We're gonna come up to the top right hand corner, click on the three lines that are stacked on top of each other, come on down and left click on settings. Once again, on the left hand side, you're gonna to want to click on privacy and security. Scroll down just a hair and under the cookies and site data section, you're going to want to click on manage data. And you can select the individual cookies if you know which ones you're looking for and remove them individually or just come on down, click on remove all and then click on save changes and clear now and you'll clear everything out of Firefox. Now, as I stated before, Edge uses the Chromium platform, so it's very similar to Google Chrome, which you'll see here in just a moment. But again, Top right hand corner, click on the three little dots that are next to each other. Come on down to settings. And then on the left hand side, click on privacy, search and services. And under here, under the clear browsing data, you're gonna want to click on where it says choose what to clear. So we'll click on that. And once again, you can see that we've got the last hour all the way up to the all of time selection. We'll just do all of time. And then you've got your individual boxes that you can select and, and, and deselect you can scroll down just a little bit. So you're gonna to want to select what it is that you want to remove. And once you've done that, come on down and left click on clear now. And everything's been cleared out of Microsoft Edge. So there you have it, really easy to do. And it's really a good idea to put this into your routine maintenance, especially if you're seeing some slowdown on the computer or maybe the internet or you browsing is being a little bit slower, going in and clearing this stuff can help certainly do that. We do have a blog article for a video just like this. So if you wanna check that out, I'll post the link down in the video description. But essentially that is going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. While you're down there, be sure to share it and also subscribe. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>